Hey brothers and sisters, look, making this response video to the Patooch, T-H-E-P-A-T-O-O-C-H, -O -O and also you might as well add Marhikala, M-H-M-A-H-A-R-I-K-A-A-W-A. -A Listen, this is for the Patooch. Again, I've been waiting for your book. You keep acting like I don't want to read it. I've been waiting for the book. But you finally made a video to where I said, you know what? I'm going to stay up and listen to this. You had a 40-minute video. It's supposedly, I guess, trying to make a response video to me about me teaching that tongues is the evidence of, of receiving the Holy Spirit. I watched the first 33 minutes of it, and you never mentioned one thing about any scriptures or anything I taught falsely. And this is what I keep saying to you and to Marhikala. You guys are not showing where I'm twisting scriptures. You just, you just read a whole bunch of scriptures that have nothing to do with what I taught. Show me where I'm wrong like I'm about to show you where you was wrong. This is what I'm talking about. We don't have to argue, but we need to get down to it. You keep, guys keep saying I'm teaching falsely. Listen, the Patooch, you read Ephesians 1.13 talking about when you believed, you received, and talking about the seal of the Holy Ghost. I don't disagree with that. Whoever said I disagree with the fact that once you receive the Holy Ghost, you're sealed. Once you truly believe that you'll receive the Holy Ghost, I don't disagree with that. You read the scriptures in Ephesians 2 verse 8 where it says we are saved by faith through grace. I agree with that. I don't disagree with scriptures. There's, you have never heard me say that I disagree with about being sealed with the Holy Spirit and that you're sealed to the day of redemption. You never heard me say I disagree about uh, um, uh, 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 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 where it talks about being grieved with the Spirit that we're, that we're, that we're sealed with. I believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost, which is receiving the Holy Ghost in you, and you are sealed. I teach that. I believe that. How come I can agree with you guys on that? So all that scriptures about that means nothing. I believe the Holy Spirit is the pledge. I believe it's the seal. I believe you have to have faith. And, and more importantly, I actually believe this. You have to repent. You have to have faith and you have to repent to be saved. Not just ask Jesus into your heart and not just confess with your mouth. Now, I'm going to show you scriptures that you use and show you how you twist them. Now, here we go. Now, look at this. Romans chapter 10. Now, this is what you're supposed to do with me. You're supposed to go back to my video, look at the scriptures I use, and show me or show people where I twisted or I misunderstood. Now, I'm, I'm going to do it to you. I'm going to show you how you twisted, and I'm going to show you something that something you read proves my point. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, you use this about the confession of the mouth, and you say all you have to do is confess that Jesus rose from the dead, and you are saved at that moment you receive the Holy Ghost. Watch how you twist this. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Not you are saved at that moment. It says shalt be. It doesn't mean you are saved at that moment. You keep making a statement, and you're making it clearly in your video, that at the that you're saying, scriptures are saying, at the moment of belief, at the moment of belief, you are receiving the Holy Ghost. There's no in scripture that even uses that word at the moment of belief. Because I'm getting ready to show you scripture that shows they believed and didn't receive. So therefore, you're teaching falsely. Now you're choosing the scripture that says, confess with your mouth that Jesus rode. Jesus said, let's look what Jesus said. Matthew chapter 7. Now, we can either believe you or Jesus. Now, you tried to twist the scripture that just confessing that Jesus rose from the dead, that you received the Holy Ghost. It doesn't say that. It says, thou shalt be saved. Doesn't mean you're going to be saved at that time that you say that. Plus, you keep putting an emphasis on confession. Now, look, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not preached in thy name, cast out demons in thy name, and done many words? He said, I never knew you. Depart from me, works iniquity. Jesus said, many will call him Lord, Lord. That means confession right there. So how could Jesus say that? And then Romans 10, 9 say that you're saved by just confession. At that moment, you confess, you receive the Holy Ghost. It doesn't say that in Romans 10, 9, does it? It says nothing about the moment. It says nothing about the Holy Ghost. But it does say that I shalt be saved. Doesn't mean you are saved because you confess. And that's what's causing many people to be deceived. You keep saying that I'm causing many people, many false conversions because people have confessed with their mouth, lifted up their hands, said Jesus rose from the dead, and it meant nothing because they didn't receive the Holy Ghost. And this is what you people are teaching. Let's go to another scripture that you used, Acts 15, 8. And I was shocked that you used this. Acts 15, 8. Mm-hmm. 
This is what happens. When I just sit back and let people go ahead and teach and talk, and now you can't take it off your video. Now, you said it. Everyone can go look at it. Acts 15. Acts 15, verse 8. Now, he's talking about when Peter said that people would be saved by the words spoken out of his mouth. Look what it says in verse 8. Acts 15, 8. And God, which knoweth the hearts, he bears, wit bears them witness. Listen what it says. Giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. And put no difference. Now, if Peter said that God knows the hearts of the people, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us, and put no difference, the same way he gave them the Holy Ghost is the same way he gives us the Holy Ghost. Am I twisting the scripture? Ain't that what it says? Ain't that what you read? That God knows the hearts and bears witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us, and Peter was doing it? So when Peter and them first received the Holy Ghost, what happened? You tell me what happened. Didn't they speak in tongues? Wasn't that evidence that they received the Holy Ghost? Isn't that what this says? Isn't Peter saying that? You read it. And God knew which know of the hearts, bear witness, giving the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. That's exactly what you said. You also made a mistake in your video because you was talking about getting the gift of faith. And you said, all oh, get the gift of faith. Now, when you go to that gift chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, he's talking about how there's the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit gives different gifts. And this Bible actually says in verse 9, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 9, to another, faith by the same Spirit. Not everyone has the gift of faith, but you just said everyone has the gift of faith. Now, everyone must have faith to be saved, but not everyone has the gift of faith, according to Scripture. And you said everyone does have the gift of faith. That's another mistake you made. You keep pounding in that at the moment of belief, they're converted. At the moment of belief, they receive the Holy Ghost. Well, let's, let's see then. Let's go with Scripture. Let's go to Acts chapter 8 and find if, see if we can find people who believed. And let's see if they had the Holy Ghost at that moment. Here it is. Acts chapter 8, verse 12. Acts 8, verse 12. Everybody get here. So the Patooch who writes books can understand he needs to rewrite one. This is for you, buddy. Your teaching is at the moment that they believe, they receive the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 8, verse 12. So I should be able to find this. But when they believed Philip, when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also. Now, the Bible says in verse 12 and 13 that they believed and even proved that they believed that they went and got baptized, right? At that moment, they should have had the Holy Ghost, according to your teaching. Now, jump down to verse, uh, uh, now I'll, I'll keep reading, verse 14, Acts 8, verse 14. Now, when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God and sent unto them Peter and John, who when they were come down, they prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. Your teaching is over. You said that the Bible teaches that at the moment of belief, they received the Holy Ghost. The Bible shows people who believed, got baptized, and in verse 15 says that the people had to come down and pray for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. Why didn't they receive the Holy Ghost if the Bible teaches at the moment that they believed, they received the Holy Ghost? Your teaching is over. So you people better repent because you're going against the word of God when I'm teaching. You teach that the Bible says at the moment of belief they received the Holy Ghost and the scripture shows a group of people right here who believed. The scripture says they believed and got baptized and said who Peter and John, verse 15, when they come down prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. Verse 16, for as yet he was fallen upon none of them. Your teaching is over. Who's the heretic? Who's the heretic? So you're teaching that just because you confess right now and at that moment that I did that, I received the Holy Ghost is a lie. A bold faced lie that's causing many people to believe that they're saved because the preacher told me they're saved because they said a, a, a sinner's prayer or they confessed. That's what's destroying the people that's trying to read the Bible. Acts 15, 8, you read it itself. It said, even as unto us, I got more for you, buddy. I got more for you. Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 10. Cornelius verse 2. Cornelius verse 2. He was a devout man. One that feared God with all his house. He gave alms to the people and he prayed to God always. You would have to say this man was saved. But he wasn't saved. Proof that he wasn't saved. He didn't have the Holy Ghost until verse 44. 
while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on them, which heard the word. Now go to verse 46. For they heard them speak in tongues and magnify God. Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost? Now in verse 2, when he was a devout man, feared God, prayed always, and gave alms, he was not yet saved. He did not have the Holy Ghost. But he obviously was believing in something. Now, when he received the Holy Ghost, it says they knew in verse 46 because they heard them speak in tongues. Does the Bible say that or am I saying that? The Bible says, for they heard them speak with tongues. That's how they knew that they received the Holy Ghost. This is scripture. Now, now let me show you something else that, 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 that correlate, coordinates with correlates with Acts chapter um what, what correlates what Acts chapter 15 verse 8 talking about just like them. Look at Acts chapter 11 verse 14 when it's referring to Peter was talking about Cornelius and, and, and talking about why he even went to the Gentiles. And listen what he says in Acts chapter 11 verse 14. Who shall tell thee words whereby thou and thy house shall be saved. Then that means proof. When they feared God, prayed to God, gave alms, and was religious, they wasn't saved because Peter had to go tell them words to be saved. Now look at verse 15. Acts eleven fifteen, As I begin to speak... The Holy Ghost fell on them as on us at the beginning. Scripture or Pastor Roby? Scripture says this. Now, he's explaining to them that the Holy Ghost fell on them as on us at the beginning. Then remember I, the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. He said, then I remembered when Jesus told me, oh yeah, we've been baptized with water, but we must be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Now, he, how did he know? And he explained, it fell on them just like on them at the beginning in Acts chapter 2, verse 4. That's what I teach. 100%. 100%. Now, when you go to Acts chapter 19, they ask in Acts 19, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? They said, no, we haven't heard of the Holy Ghost. Whatever Paul was teaching them, all I know is this. In verse 5, they got baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Ghost came and they spoke in tongues. Now, that scripture, I believe you must repent. Be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall, it's a promise, receive the Holy Ghost. Period. That scripture Every, I looked at your video, Ephesians 1.13, seal the Holy Ghost, I agree. Ephesians 2.8, you must be uh, saved by faith through, I mean, saved by grace through faith, I agree. So I agree with those scriptures. Acts 15.8 that you read, I really agree. It says he gives the Holy Ghost, he bears witness of the heart, gives him the Holy Ghost just like he gave it to them. He puts no difference. You read the scripture. I showed you a scripture where people believed. Obviously, you teach the doctrine at that moment the Holy Ghost comes. I showed you Acts chapter 8, verse 12 to 16, and the scriptures prove that there is no doctrine of at that moment you receive the Holy Ghost. God will decide when he wants to give you the Holy Ghost. God will decide that, but he will know your heart. I, t I know that for sure. And it says in Acts chapter 5, verse 32, he gives the Holy Spirit to them that obey. All I know is this. What I teach is from scripture, 100% from scripture, everything I just said. Now, I broke down your video. What's the problem? I just proved to you with your own words that you keep saying the Bible saying it. Show me one scripture the Bible says at the moment. At the moment, you believe you received the Holy Ghost. Show me one scripture. Show me one. You can't. So your doctrine is false and it's causing people to believe they're saved when they're not. 100%. So I don't want to hear nothing. And even your own testimony, and I'll take your word for it. I believe your testimony, but I believe if you spoke in tongues 15 minutes after you walked out to church, I believe, and you start speaking in tongues, that's when you got saved. I don't teach that you get to speak in tongues to receive the Holy Ghost. I teach that you receive the Holy Ghost and the proof that you received it is tongues. Maybe that's where you might get me wrong. Maybe you think I'm teaching you get to speak in tongues to receive the Holy Ghost. If that's what you think, then I can settle that right there because I don't teach that. I teach you receive the Holy Ghost and the, and the Spirit will give you utterance when the Spirit comes in you. And that's just proof that you receive the Holy Ghost. Now, we see that in Scripture. We see that 100% in Scripture and even Scripture I found that says they knew because four they heard them speak in tongues. They knew it. And they say they receive the Holy Ghost. Now, are you receiving a different spirit? Are you receiving a different spirit? Are you receiving a different way of receiving it the way they received it? I received it the way they received it. 
did you. Now, I'm done making videos with you, the patooch, who keeps saying about me reading his, your book, and Mar Hickela, AWA, everyone could go to his page, look at his testimony, and we ain't got to talk about nothing. Night chick, she already knows the deal. I already got everything she typed to me about her testimony. And that's why they're so angry. So, bottom line is this. I believe faith. I believe you must repent. And another thing you said, the patooch, you actually said, when in your testimony, you said that you walked up and you asked. Well, God, you said if I just uh, confess that you rose from the dead, that I'll be saved. And you said you said that, and that's what got you saved. I didn't hear you mention nothing about repentance. I don't know. Maybe you did, but I didn't hear you say nothing about you was repenting over sins. You was just talking about, about believing that God raised from the dead, that Jesus was raised from the dead. That's all you kept saying. That's all you said. You didn't believe about repentance. Would you, would you sick over your sins? Did you need help? Did you need filled? Did you ask for the Holy Ghost? And another thing I want to talk about real quick is y'all keep saying I'm making emphasis on tongues. But Patooch, you are the one who said that you went out and seeking tongues. I never sought tongues. I sought the Holy Ghost. You're the one who admits it with your own words that you were seeking tongues. You heard people in the church speaking in tongues, so you wanted to speak like them. And you said you asked God and he allowed you to speak in tongues like them. Now, maybe that's true. I don't know. But all I know is you're the one that was asking to speak in tongues. I never asked for the speaking in tongues. I asked for the Holy Ghost. And the evidence of me receiving the Holy Ghost was tongues. So if anyone was seeking tongues, it's you. You're the one that puts the emphasis on tongues, not me. I was seeking the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost came in me and the Spirit gave me the utterance to speak. But you admit in your testimony you went out to speak in tongues. Now, Mar Hickela and Nike Chick, y'all need to quit riding each other. For the simple fact is this, Marhekala, you don't even believe in tongues. You said they ceased, and you said that I'm a heretic because of it, because I teach about tongues. You said tongues cease. Now, Nike Chick, how are you on his side when you said you do believe in the gift of tongues? No, I know I'm saying saying the gift, but you said you believe in the gift of tongues. Marhekala said there's no tongues, but yet y'all both are trying to gang up on me. Yes, they're both confused. Which one is it? If, if Marhekala doesn't believe in tongues, and you do, y'all should be reading the Bible together to try to figure out which one of y'all was right. So, Marhekala, when you jump on the patooch and try to make videos, you don't even believe in tongues, whether it's the gift or the function of evidence. You don't believe in either one of them. You said they ceased. You deny the power thereof. So you need to quit making videos. You need to take your testimony video off your video because you tell on yourself. You say you came to the Lord. Then you say you walked away from the Lord. Then you admit that you didn't even believe in the Lord. You did all those things. I'll show you scriptures. If you really did that, brother, you can't even come back. So I don't know what y'all want to do. It's whatever with me. But all I know is, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Now, I broke your video down. Show me in my scriptures where I use in my video where I'm wrong. You can't because all I did was reread the scriptures and you actually read one of mine, the ones that I, I read, you read one. He gave the Holy Ghost unto us just like to them like he did us. 100%. Anybody, anybody, this ain't about me being arrogant or cocky. This is called confidence. You know because I'm 100% sure. I'm 100% for sure of my salvation, and I can teach you that you could be assured of your salvation. You don't have to work for it. It's just simply ask for the Holy Ghost. Amen? And when the Holy Ghost comes, trust me, you will know. You will know. And you'll be able to find Bible to back up your conversion. Not a sinner's prayer. Not just asking Jesus to your heart. None of that is in here. None of it. God bless you. The patooch. Now I came for you. I tried to let it go. But you kept coming. You kept coming. I looked at your video. I showed you the video, the stuff that you said. Now tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong. And everyone else, listen, get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Follow scripture. If you're a conversion not in the Bible, you're none of his. God bless y'all.